Hi and welcome to this very quick episode of Electronical. I came across a problem two or three weeks ago that I hadn't done while working with uh, one of these particular types of ESP32s. A quick search on the web, web sorted it out and I was able to solve it. So I'm going to tell you exactly what I found and how to solve this problem if you come across it. Basically, it won't upload your code to the board. Now it seems to only affect certain boards, maybe even only uh, ones perhaps from China, but I can't verify that. But this particular type of board, and there's another one just over here, and you can see I put on dodgy load, because I initially wrote on this dodgy load, and I just couldn't get things to upload to it, and it was giving me problems. But anyway, I solved it. But let's have a look what the problem is. So let's try and upload a blink circuit, a blink circuit, ah, a blink, blink program to the board. Let's have a look at that. So we're compiling. And you'll see what happens in a minute. I'll just bring the screen up a little bit so we can see more of the error window and see what happens. So it's going to try and upload. So it's, it's connecting. It's trying to open the connection to the board. And then occasionally this will work, but it's really rare. And you see it's trying, it's trying, it's trying. By now, if you're experienced with this ESP32s or Arduinos or whatever, it's got the connection and it's already started uploading. But it's not doing it. And my initial search has said, oh, you've got to press like the enable button and things like that as you're uploading. And that was occasionally worked. It was like one in 15 times or something. So the proper solution to this, if you come across this problem with one of your boards, and by the way, it doesn't only seem to affect these particular ones. This is based on the Do It uh, board. It's from China. Um, I got some of these. Actually, this one was off eBay. This was a China one, I think. Um, but again, this one off eBay was probably a cheap Chinese, Chinese based clone. You can see these are identical. I wrote on this initially dodgy load because it was dodgy. I couldn't get it to load. And I'll show you the solution I've got in a minute. But here's another one. This is extremely similar. Don't get them mixed up. You can see this one is a little bit longer than that board. And this one doesn't have that problem. It seems to just be these particular ones, 30 pin boards, but not all 30 pin boards, 30 pin boards, perhaps with this configuration, and perhaps even some of these won't give you the problem. But if you do, if you get the problem when you're ready to upload, and it's not because you've got a broken ESP32, it's just a slightly badly designed system. And apparently I think this might only affect Windows machines, but the solution is to put on a capacitor in a certain place. Anything between from between about one microfarad to about three microfarads, I think. Um, I've got a 2.2 microfarad one. It's electrolytic. You're going to be having something like that when it's this sort of size of capacitance so negatives marked down that side so you connect it to the en pin which is on this board it's here on most boards it's up at the top end so from ground so i'm connecting my negative and my electrolytic to ground whack that on the ground get in and whack that on the en en pin if you notice i'm not even disconnected the power or anything let's try and upload again here we go and we're uploading so let's see it should connect pretty quickly so let's try and open the catch and there it goes and we should also have a flashing LED any second now if my programming is not too bad. And there it is, flashing away. So that's it. That's the solution if you come across this problem. So thanks very much for those that support me on Patreon. You'll also find some affiliate links down below for some of the parts you've seen in this video if you want to support me that way. It costs you no difference in money whatsoever, but I get a small percentage of the sale. And thank you very much for watching if you've not seen me before please hit that like button or subscribe button whichever one you feel like and i'll see you next time